Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody questioned this right here. This is highlighted for steps, and this is highlighted for blend spacing. Well, it even says right there, is only applicable when the blend is attached to a path. So that's what it does. If we blend these 15 times, go down and put them on this path, Watch, they're both grayed out right now, but as soon as you do this, they're both visible. Now we're going to blend along full path. These are three-inch circles. If we want some space between them, we can set the, the space, the distance between them from the center of the object to four inches. I mean, look what it does. Now they're spaced out. There's less of them. Corel did that for us. And if we take the parallel dimension tool and go from that center to that center, they are four inches apart. That's a pretty handy tool. I've never really played around with it too much, uh, but that's a you know game changer if you want to. You know, let's see how many there are: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's make this five inches apart. And look what it did. Now, it's cheating because it didn't go to full path uh, over here. So I don't know. If mathematically, I guess it just can't do it. But let's just check the, uh, see if it's a true five inches. And it is. I hope that answered their question. And thank you for watching.